Today I'm going to show you how to change the radiator on this 1998 Mercedes-Benz E430. First remove the centre engine compartment panelling by unscrewing the four 8mm bolts. Next remove the front engine compartment panelling Unscrew three 8mm bolts on each side near the wheel wells and the two 8mm bolts at the front of the panel. Place a container below the radiator to catch any coolant. Attach a hose to the outlet on the bottom left side of the radiator to ensure there is no spillage. Unscrew the cooling system cap to allow the air to escape as the system drains the coolant. Unscrew the radiator drain screw at the bottom left of the radiator to allow the coolant to drain. Next, you should remove the viscous fan, but my fan was refusing to come off, so I decided to continue ahead with them on. It is a little harder to remove the radiator, but still possible. Now loosen the fan trowel by removing the two clips. To remove the protective grille, you turn the clip on each side a quarter turn and pull upwards. This car was missing the right hand clip. Remove the bracket from the automatic transmission fluid line at the bottom of the radiator. This is just a 10mm bolt. Using a 17mm and 19mm open ended spatter, remove the first ATF line at the lower centre of the radiator. Remove the ATF line located at the bottom right hand side of the radiator. To remove the air inlet pipe, we remove the air box lid. We undo the clips above and below the MAF sensor. Undo the three clips on each side of the air box. Then we can remove the air filter. Lift the lower portion of the air box upwards to loosen from the rubber mounts. And release the air inlet from beside the radiator. Now we unclip and remove the two radiator clamps. Using a 10mm socket, undo the five bolts of the radiator cross member and remove. Loosen the hose clamp of the top radiator coolant line and remove the hose. Remove the two lower coolant hoses at the bottom right of the radiator.
Unplug the small coolant line at the top of the radiator. This leads back to the ex expansion tank. Undo the two 10mm bolts of the power steering cooler line. Remove the 13mm bolt and remove the horn. Undo the 10mm bolt to remove the support bracket. Remove the two 10mm bolts holding the radiator fan. Unclip the power connector and remove the radiator fan. Remove the two 10mm bolts securing the radiator to the condenser. Now the radiator is loose, you can remove it completely. I went with the Nissan's replacement over the Bear Heller OEM model as it was recommended on the Mercedes-Benz forums. Using a 10mm and 19mm spanner, remove the two ATF lines from the old radiator. Install the ATF lines to the new radiator. Now we can put the radiator carefully back into place. Ensure that the two mounts slide into the rubber grommets below. Remove the two square nuts from the old radiator to use in the new one and secure the condenser to the radiator using two 10mm bolts. Place the radiator fan back into the two slots and secure with the two 10mm bolts.
replace the support bracket and secure with a 10 millimeter bolt. Secure the power steering coolant line with two 10 millimeter bolts. Mount the bracket and horn to the support bracket with a 13 millimeter bolt. Connect the plug back into the radiator fan. Reconnect the coolant line that leads to the expansion tank. Connect the upper coolant hose. Reconnect the two lower coolant hoses. Replace the radiator cross member using the five 10 millimeter bolts. Install the two radiator clamps to secure the radiator to the cross member. Insert the air inlet pipe and place the air box back into the mounting points. Push down to secure. Insert the air filter into place. Position the air box cover into the MAF sensor and clip both top and bottom. Reclip the three clips on either side of the air box. Reconnect the ATF lines at the bottom of the radiator and tighten with 17mm and 19mm open-ended spanners. Using the 10 millimeter bolt, secure the ATF line bracket to the radiator. Replace the protective grill into the three holes and secure using the two mounting clips. Reposition the fan shroud, ensuring it is mounted in the lower slots and secure using the two clips. Now that everything is all replaced, refill the radiator via the expansion tank. I'm using a 50-50 coolant mix, so starting with four and a half liters of demineralized water. Fill until the top of the expansion tank with four and a half liters of green antifreeze concentrate. You might have some left over.
replace the front engine compartment using the eight 8mm bolts. Replace the center engine compartment using the four remaining 8mm bolts. Start the engine and check for leaks. Fill the expansion tank with the coolant you had left over from the 4.5 litres. The system runs 9 litres of coolant mixture in total, so if you measure correctly, you will not overfill.